That is 2011. I just got the news yesterday. I lost my appeal case. My employer did not discriminate the court's house. The employer's decision to remove the drop they had already given me on merit was reasonable. But I know it was discrimination. I feel it. I can't sleep properly. I can't eat properly. I can't swallow without gagging. I keep separating into two people. One looking at me. Nobody is listening to me. I feel they're out to get me. Because I am deaf. I'm thinking about this. They do not know what they are doing. I am not just a number, an amount of money, a cost. I will not let them do this. I remember a few years ago, a poster on the wall of an ESL classroom English for speakers of other languages. It said, education, something nobody can take away. My experience, only I have it. I will not let them take it away. I will not give it away. There has to be value in this painful situation. I want to find it. There has to be something that only I can do. But how to figure it out? It is January 2020. I'm in a room with 20 other people, all doing jobs like I used to in the civil service. I resigned in 2012. All of those people are vulnerable. They are all human beings, and they all also have disabilities. This is what I do now. I have harnessed my vulnerability to support these people. There's a buzz of nervous expectation in the air. Doing this makes me feel the very opposite of vulnerable. It gives me a feeling of freedom and power that I cannot describe. 